today. We taking a drive. We going for a very late lunch. We decide we going Maracas to do to get bacon chop from Uncle Sam's because they have pickup. And I mean, we have not really bought any kind of fast food. Whole, yeah, we haven't bought any fast food whatsoever since the COVID-19. We have strictly eaten home cooked meals. Yeah, so yeah, we was fasting for like a month too, so you know. Nah. So this is the first time we're gonna eat something outside since this whole thing starts. And we decide we want Uncle Sam. So, keep watching. by the first lookout, Maracas. Oh yeah, Maracas lookout, yeah, yeah. He is like the best snowcon man ever. You know, like, this Bailey's thing is good, 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 real good. So by the way, let me just give all you a quick thing. This mask, got it from Extreme Dynamics. They customize it for me and everything. And, just got my order of masks from Dainty Designs by Karen. And I'm gonna wear I just got it, so you're not gonna rinse it off and stuff before I wear it. But tried it on and it fits like so so amazing. Check her out guys, because it's like $15 a mask and it has cool patterns to choose from. And she have like different sizes. So you know you have your kid sizes, you have adults have small medium large i i bought an extra small because like my face like little children size small so guys let me show you we just reached the beach let me show you how the beach looking <laughs> so so the beach looks like real good it have a good bit of people but of course social distancing going on nobody bathing in the beach but Oh yeah, the beach looking so good. I just wanna run in right now and just jump right. in in that water. You? Look, eh? Huh. Yeah. Don't yeah, I don't really like to bathe in the beach. I think, you know what's my problem? I don't like to bathe in the beach because of the change in your clothes part. Look, I'm cool, I like. Yeah. I mean, look at that water. That's not how we can bathe. We can't bathe today because the quarantine is Yeah, they are open back the beaches yet, baby. So all you could do is watch up. the beach today, okay, baby? Oh, gosh, get up. Mama. Somebody see the beach and want to come out there, watch. Sorry, Mama, not today. Oh yeah, I wish I could share this babies with all you, but hard luck. Mm. It tastes so good. Mm -hmm. So, so good. How much do you pay for it again? 30? Mm -hmm. 30 dollars. Oh, she's chocolate and shit, you know, real thing. Gosh, stop it. I need to stop using the S word. Again, I have plenty of kids watching my channel. Britain, that's yeah, shocking Britain, correct me. Anytime I say the S H I T word in front of Britain, he's usually be like correcting me. He's be like, Mommy is not No, he don't say it. He's be like, it's too too, it's too too mommy. Uh yeah, so oh, too -too. Baby and mommy said a bad word? Oh, he wasn't listening. That's why he didn't correct me all. He did not hear me. <laughs> so guys, we reached by Uncle Sam's here. And we going and check and see if the other place open because the line like ridiculously long. 
like real long there it's it that makes sense i don't really feel like anybody well like brandon definitely not gonna line up in a long line because it's like taking forever to move so we just <laughs> pull aside for a second because brandon had to reach into the back to get something and the police pull up beside me and you know not no good evening no nothing you know <laughs> he just uh, all is serious um you're not supposed to park day so Brian was like um but i'm not parked i'm ready to go all right let the vehicle still in drive and uh, about to move he's like well um stopping your vehicle at a complete no he have having your vehicle at a complete stop is parking so Brian was like okay uh, sorry officer to we leave like oh god man you know we just meet up plenty police officers and we time eh and they just be so nice like where does where does idiot i don't want to say ass in friendly child right get he like manners from like he having a bad day so you're taking it out on everybody get real now get real yeah he come back for he mask he walk quite or quite and come back and just realize he do have a mask and he come back because you know what the police suck man say You serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Smile for your exes oh. <laughs> They just be watching yeah, the YouTube <laughs> oh, Yeah, don't blush baby, don't blush So since we on the topic of um police and thing let me give all you a little story time so when i had my first car it was like a black white 12 wagon i had to take a loan to buy the wagon and um yeah i had now buy i probably only had the car probably a year yeah maybe a year around that and i was 26 at the time no no i was 25 at the time right so, me and my mom go on to run errands, so we decide to pass down the mall side to get, you know, food and thing before we head home. So, big roadblock, lunchtime, hot sun, real hot sun, scorching hot sun, police them there. So, the sergeant or whatever stopped me, no, it was an inspector. So, he was like, um, Mom, the tint in your car, too dark. So I was like, so um, my tent is legal. He said, um, no, it's not. I said, listen, I bought the car as is. It went over the ramp in an inspection, did an inspection, everything as is. Right? It passed inspection, everything, and it's legal. So he didn't like that I stand up for myself then. Apparently, I'm supposed to just stay quiet and not stand up for my rights. So then he was like um okay so then he was like um well if it is you buy a gun in a car where is that so i say well that's that's illegal so so he was like exactly And then he walked off and man went and started writing the tickets. So, so then afterwards now, the WPC came up to me and she was like, um, well, um, you know, we had to issue the ticket to you because it tint illegal. So I was like, ma'am, my tint not illegal and I'm not going to pay this ticket, right? I will be going to court. She's like, well, um, you are wearing dark clothing and that's making it hard to see you so that's probably why it's looking like it's in that i was like excuse me i was like you can't be telling me what to wear in my own private vehicle so then she was like um well you know um the upholstery in your vehicle dark maybe you should consider changing it so i was like um um are you giving me ten thousand dollars to change the upholstery in my vehicle so I was like, you know that I'm not going to pay the ticket and I'm going to court, right? She's like, well, 
<laughs> There's nothing I could do about it. And she walked out, right? Hand me the ticket and she gone. So I went to court and wherever. I went to court with the tickets. Because I know I'm not going to pay no damn ticket. And my thing legal. Not me and there. I went to court. They didn't turn up the first time. The second time I'm going back. They come. No, they didn't come again. The second time I gone back, they didn't show up again. So the judge ended up asking me, she said, Mom, um, how you plead? So I said, not guilty, of course. So she said, well, the officer didn't show up. I said, and I will come here every time. Give me another day to come in because I'm not paying no ticket for, for something that I'm not guilty of. So she was like, well, you know what? This case is uh, cancelled. So earlier I didn't pay no tickets. Just as I thought I was not going to pay no tickets. Right? So sometimes you had to stand up for yourself and not let these bullies walk all over you. But the point is, most officers I've come across is be real, real nice. And the others is just be plain old hoggish and have lack manners, right? Them so need to take a page from the ones that have manners and learn a thing or two you know like they don't have colleagues they don't see how some of the colleagues has been dealing with members of the public all nice nice and, good morning good afternoon how are you today can i have your documents for your vehicle you know why all of them can't be like that soon as i see you give me your documents no morning no good evening no nothing you know. um give me your documents yeah like, oh God, Ole, calm down, calm down. If you didn't eat a little breakfast, your wife said you thought a little breakfast, do take it out on the people. So anyway, Brandon, they can real long, Ole. This, this, like the lineup, like intense by all the, the bacon shark place. And here now is real people in Maracas today. It's Indian arrival day. Eh? People like that up here. I was expecting the beach to be empty. I mean, the beach empty, the road full of people, of course. And like I'm mining my baby's drink. Yeah. Oh, let's check out my cute neon orange nails. I do them this morning. Yeah, my sister in law, my sister in law, Christina, buy me this orange dip powder. Thanks, Christina. That neon orange dip powder is the bomb. Where are we going now? We drive in further now. We what are we gonna do that then? Huh? Look for secluded ah. beach so the children could take a dip illegally. Oh. <laughs> are we lower breakers? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's true. How? My my arrow we went. That's not breaking the law. We was in a private house. By the private part of the beach. So that's not breaking the law. Okay, so where are we going here now? We don't see if the children could take a little dip now, you know? Can you hear that? This mama wants a bit bad. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. Look at this view. Oh my goodness, the sky pretty, the water looking. Like... Oh god, what this face now? Look, you're going in the... to... to take a little dip, baby. Wait there, baby. Mm -hmm. Any beach? Yeah. 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 Wow, what you get that for? Oh, the green rock. You're going to put that in your aquarium? Yeah, all the top. I don't mind buying water. Uh. Well, guys, it's home time. So, we um get some fish food to buy over there by the beach. Run and buy some lobster. Some shark and what's the next one? Crow crow. Crow crow? Whatever that is. I don't know. The only thing I need 
didn't know over there was shark and lobster. <laughs> So the sun's setting right now, so it's a beautiful view. So that's basically it. I'm gonna end this video with some nice scenery, you know. Yeah. So guys, thanks for joining us today. Bye. Boy, boy. Man, love you for life. Who say you love me too? Yeah. And treating you right Good times and bad times And me and you right True, yeah Ain't true oh, yeah. Loving you daily And treating you right Loving the way you oh, yeah. wind up your mind I need yummy bacon So we end up getting Richards We didn't get Uncle Sam You're great You're alright I saw me so me baptize Alright Take it all night, yeah. Wind up your tight, mama play with ya, damn. Mm. When she done sip the end up on the rock, plus the weed with a little blend, she give me the best. Bless, 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 bless.